So here we have a problem of calculating the mass in kilograms of 4.87 times 10 to the 25th atoms of zinc. So we start with the number that we're given, the 4.87 times 10 to the 25th atoms of zinc. And we can't convert directly from atoms to mass or to grams. So we first have to do a conversion of atoms to moles. The relationship between atoms and moles is that 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd atoms is equal to one mole of atoms. So we can use this relationship putting atoms in the denominator so it can cancel and moles on top because that's what we, want to, what we want to convert to. And the numbers follow the units. 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd goes on bottom and one mole goes on top. So that cancels out the unit of atoms. Next, we wanna convert from moles to grams because we need grams before we can convert to kilograms. And we can do that by using the molar mass from the periodic table is 65.38 grams is equal to one mole. So we put moles on bottom and grams on top and the numbers follow the units. So one mole is 65.38 grams. So that cancels out the unit of moles and we're left with grams. So one more conversion, we need to go from grams to kilograms. And the conversion factor we can use for that is that one kilogram is equal to a thousand grams. So we put the unit of grams on bottom, kilograms on top, and the numbers follow the units. That cancels out the unit of grams. We're left with kilograms. So we multiply by the numbers on top and divide by the numbers on bottom. 4.87 EE25 divided by 6.022 EE23 times 65.38 divided by 1,000. That gives me 5.28728 kilograms. And we have three significant figures in the problem originally. So we'll round to the eight. The seven is larger than five. So it would be 5.28 kilograms for the final answer. One thing to note is when I have the scientific notation, you wanna make sure to use your EE button on your calculator when you're dividing or it could put that times 10 to the 23, if you put that into the calculator without using your EE button, you would need to use parentheses in order for your calculator to recognize that that times is not on top. So just a, a quick calculator note there. So I hope this was helpful for you. If it was, please subscribe to my channel and um, feel free to comment if you have any questions that you need help with.